Donald Trump arriving in South Florida, the former president will be staying at Trump National in Doral tonight on the eve of his unprecedented federal court hearing. Security will be tight in downtown Miami where Trump will be arraigned on dozens of charges. The former president has called on supporters to rally outside the courthouse. It will be the first federal arraignment ever for a former American president. And it will all happen right here in South Florida. We have live team coverage. Local 10's Glenna Milberg <clears throat> starts things off with what will happen during this historic arraignment. Nicole Calvin, the epicenter, the intersection of crime, criminal justice, politics, history, all right here at Miami Federal Courthouse. And tomorrow, former President Trump enters as a criminal defendant, and that indictment against him explains why. Full up with media, lined up for courtroom seats, wheels down at MIA 24 hours before former President Trump faces a magistrate as a federal criminal defendant. Homeland Security, Secret Service, bomb sniffing canines. All in place for the historic first appearance of the first U.S. president, former or otherwise, to face federal indictment on Tuesday. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Former President Donald Trump on full blast campaigning this weekend. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. Lashing out at the 37 charges against him, retaining classified documents detailing national defense, lying about them, conspiring to obstruct justice after the subpoena for him to return it all from his Mar-a-Lago home offices, bathroom, shower, and ballroom. It's very rare that you see an indictment with pictures in it, a speaking indictment in which uh, uh, the defendant himself is, is quoted uh, in numerous parts of the indictment is, is, uh, is unusual. President Trump will be escorted into the courthouse Tuesday afternoon via private entrance to formally surrender, take a mugshot, and give fingerprints. Then in the big courtroom on the 13th floor, the magistrate will offer to have the indictment read publicly and ask how defendant Trump pleads to the charges. President Trump will plead not guilty. How do we know that? Because he's been saying so all weekend and again today. And he's been writing so in emails this afternoon. President Trump is fundraising off this indictment in his presidential campaign. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News. Much like as he did with the first indictment. Thanks a lot there, Glenna. We had